Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 75 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, where today we're visiting a mystical dimension of Ratlantis. Uh, that's the plan, at least. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so I figured I'd make sure that I had all the things I'm going to want, right? So we've got a nice bow, we've got some nice weapons, we've got flight, uh, we've got some mecha suit stuff. Um, part of me wouldn't mind... Part of me wouldn't mind. Let's see. Uh, let's let's get the. Uh, oh, four coin doesn't work. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get the things. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might want some mob imprisonment tools. So what mod is this from? Industrial foregoing tools. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was just wondering why I couldn't look that up. Right. Uh, so mob imprisonment tools. What we'll get. Uh, let's do that. That. I want to grab a few of these just in case. Feels like a good idea. And uh, what I'm going to do is potentially need to farm some of the mobs that we're going to find out there. But we'll find out. First things first, let's go exploring. So I'm assuming I just step into this portal. And yes, that works. Minus a little bit of lag for world gen while the dimension is spawning around me. Ooh, check out that map. There's definitely some mobs showing up. And some kind of pirate ship. Which makes me wonder, you know, what do we got going on here? So I'm sure there's a lot of world gen happening at the moment. Uh, that's normal when you go to a new dimension. Come on, buddy. There we go. Just appeared. Sweet. Cool. All right. Neat. Uh, so I should definitely mark, you know, with a waypoint, uh, the exit here just so we have access to it in case we ever need to find it uh but hey check this place out this place is definitely different than it was last time i was here so this is the ratlantis dimension right rats ratlantis biome uh cool so definitely you know an oceanic type you know with lots of coral and whatnot i'm assuming world gen is still happening because there's a little bit of lag occurring but what do we have in the world is this Something's happening. Ratlantean spirit. Ashes of a trillion dead souls. Encounter the long dead ghost of a Ratlantean. Sweet. What do we got here? So this will get us a vial of consciousness. Bow of Ratlantis. Fires stronger arrows twice as fast. I like the sound of that. Gonna need some oracalicum ingots. Wow, that's a word. <laughs> and some arcane technology. Uh, which I think is a, is a boss drop. But, oh, dude, look at this. A flying ghost ship thingy? All right, yeah, this dimension is way more fleshed out than it was in previous versions. Hey, blocks of gold. Don't mind if I do. Remember that, like, episode a few episodes ago where I was like, hey, I need more gold? Worth investigating. So marbled cheese brick slabs. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, good thing I have this thing. We should we should definitely be putting this stuff in, uh, away. Uh, let's go explore a little bit, shall we? So, hey, cool pandas. Neat. So this is also a Ratlantis biome. So I think it's all one big biome. I don't think there's multiples. But there's parrots and pandas here, which is cool. Um, and then there's this neat looking pirate ship made out of ghost pirate wood. Pirate. Get it? Pirate wood? Ha 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 Uh, plague leech. Yeah, sure. Why not? Ghost pirate planks. What do we got here? Flying Dutch Rat's Bell. Should we ring it? Yes. Oh, we need something to blow up. Yeah, this is definitely a different, more fleshed out dimension than before. So flying would help with this boss mob for sure. I should, I should try this boss fight without my... Arr! I didn't know this would summon a boss. <laughs> I did not know this would summon a boss. I was going to do most of the boss Arr! fights without... Arr! Arr! Just to see how, how difficult they are. So we'll just do another one without it. I want to make sure to kill him with a... With a, with a, with a looting sword. So we got Flying Dutch Rat's Ship Wheel... 
Defeat the Flying Dutch Rat. That is awesome. And some Ghost Pirate Ectoplasm. Neat. There's a lot of these. These spirits are not easy to hit either. They are tiny. Alright, there we go. Sweet. Dude, I like that pirate ship thing. That is cool. And what do we have here? I think that's a feral rat landing, right? We've seen them. like the fireball. I do not like the set people on fire projectile. There he is. I feel like this bow's angle is just different than normal bows. Maybe I'm just crazy. Alright, so we found a feral Ratlantean. Ratlantean automaton head. Where did I get that from? From the feral Ratlantean maybe? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. 5% chance. Killed by player, affected by looting. Nice. Okay. Also got a rat toga, which is kind of cool. Interact on a rat to equip it with a toga. Interact again to de-equip it. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out this ship some more. Because uh, clearly there's some other cool stuff to find in here. Old Treacle has 25% chance to remove the plague effect. Ooh, tiny coin. We should definitely keep our inventory relatively clear here. Another Atlantean automaton head. Cheese cannonball. Now, I'm pretty sure this can be used to spawn a boss mob. If I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's what's up. So we're going to try that out for sure. Ah! Those pirates. Shiver me timbers. Encounter a ghost pirate, the cursed spirits of long dead sailors. And I found more ectoplasm, a pirate cutlass, 9 attack damage, 3 attack speed. That's not bad. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, also a pirate hat. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> nice. Hello. That is cool. Okay, with all that taken care of, let's explore this pirate ship a little bit more. Not too shabby. Wow, that is not an uncommon drop, by the way. I feel like every rat I'm killing has that. Granted, I've I've looting on my sword, but still. Nautilus shell? I think that's vanilla. Creepy sounds are creepy. Yep, definitely some creepy sounds going on here. I'm just taking all the loots. Because why not? Barrel of Fish from Rats Mod. Ooh, a pirate hat. Nice. Are you ready, kids? Just as cool. Lots of neat stuff in here. Um, ratfish. Okay, today I learned that's a thing. Oh wow. Further loot. Cheese cannonball. Fired from a pirate cannon. <laughs> Alright, we're getting... This looks like some kind of... Kind of treasure room, yeah? Don't seem about right. Ah! Ah! I need some anti fire potions. Something that will make it so that I don't receive fire damage. That's what I'm feeling here. I need I need some kind of trinket or item that will make it so I just don't catch on fire, and then I'll be a lot better shape. All right, so that looks pretty cool. I 
Yeah, these dudes are annoying. Gotcha. Now there's like a big red dot. Oh, that's just my waypoint. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like, you know, there's red dots on the map. I'm like, oh yeah. Let's capture one of these guys, a feral rat lady. Okay. Come on, that was like a perfect sniper shot. Yeah, it was. All right. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these spirits. The whole projectiles that light you on fire thing. And there's a lot of them, too. Not the end of the world, but still. Wow, yeah, there's a lot here. Another block of gold, don't mind if I do. A lot to check out. Uh, I'm gonna put the Feral Ratlantean away. For the time being. Now what's this? Hello. I still would like to know what that what that noise is. Because it sounds like some kind of mob or something. I remember this. Rat school. That did something. Maybe that's the spirits making that noise? Could be the spirits. Let's check out this uh this temple-y thing. Man, that was a good shot, right? But yeah, these guys are a little too common to spawn. Let's check out this thing. Some kind of rat temple with a statue of a rat dude on the on the top up here. See? That's cool. I like that. That's neat. Is there something inside this? Yes, gold. Aha. And gold on his scepter. Don't mind if I do. All right, what else we got? Uh, some more broken down structures, which is neat. Ah. Yeah, these spirits are just common. I need like homing arrows or something. I'm not doing too bad shooting to be fair, but still, they're small. They're small. really hard to see because they're yellow. Yeah, there's just a lot of those dudes. We're gonna have to do something about that. I still feel like that noise means something. Oh, what'd I get? No trident. Cool. Yeah, what do we think that noise is? Definitely not a panda. Definitely not a panda noise. Hmm. Now here's like an underwater temple type thing, which is cool. Nice. Yeah, this has multiple levels. I think there's a breathing apparatus I can add to my mecha suit, which I might wind up doing, but we'll see. Just curious how deep this goes. Is this the bottom level? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's it. Okay, neat. Hey, here's another one. Cool. Yeah, if we decide at some point we need to, you know, Hey, look, another statue. Cool. All right, so we found the Feral Ratlanteans. We found the Ghost Pirate Ship. We found spirits, which are very common. 
What else we got around here? I mean, I'll take some cocoa beans. I don't know if I have those, but it might be nice to farm at some point. Still want to find whatever was making that weird noise. But yeah, lots of basically ruined and broken down structures. That's what I'm saying. More than I the last time I played the Rylantis, right? Definitely more than last time. Definitely more than last time. All right, let's... Oh, there's another pirate ship. Should we mark this thing's position and then ring the bell wearing diamond armor? I feel like that would be a cool way to go. And by cool way to go, I mean die. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. Hey, what's this? A new hat. Ratlantian officer's hat. <laughs> that's cool. All right. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark this thing on the map. Okay, and then we'll come back to him wearing just diamond armor and see how that fight goes with that with that dude. So let's home. Grab our diamond armor, All right? Now this is not enchanted in fairness. I mean, not well enchanted at least. Um, you know, I'm just grabbing literally just random armor components. So this is not optimally enchanted, right? I just want a concept of how hard this fight is. I'm going to maintain flight, though. Uh, and let's also get our steak, because I want to be able to eat. Remember, I have food automatically for my helmet, but that's no longer a thing. Um, let's also put in from mechanisms upgrades here. I would like vision enhancement, no. Solar recharge, no. Hydraulic propulsion, locomotion boosting, dosimeter, electrolytic breathing unit. Sweet. Stackable four. I don't know why you would need four of these, but I'm okay with that. So electrolytic breathing units, huh? That works for me. Module base. There we go. Let's go put that in our helmet here, because I'm assuming that's where it goes into the helmet. I think that's a fair assumption to make. Just so I have it for after this battle, right? All right, cool. So I'm going to have the armor on me. If things go really squirrely, I can uh, I can just deal with that. There we go. Sweet. So my Ratlantean pirate ship is over in this direction. I've still got a decent sword. I've still got a decent bow. They're all modded. But I'm just not wearing the ridiculously overpowered, never-get-hurt mech armor. <laughs> Which is good armor. Love the armor, but if I'm going to take on this uh, dimension, I should have some semblance of risk. And at least understand how, how difficult these, these fights are. Okay, so here's the pirate ship. Now it's not nighttime, so I think the spirits only spawn at night. So that's good to know at least. And here goes the flying Dutch rat's bell. You ready? Oh! He can only manifest at night. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Boo, I say. What's this? Is this like a vanilla world gen structure or what? Because it looks vanilla-ish, doesn't it? Looks like a vanilla temple thingy. Doesn't it? I feel like all the Ratlantian stuff is spawned with cheese blocks. I feel like this is vanilla. Or maybe like an extra dungeons type mod thing. No, it's definitely vanilla. Yep. Magic Edge. Slightly increases damage dealt and converts it to magic. Neat. Alright, I think we just have to wait for night time. I never understood these puzzles. Luckily you don't have to, you know, actually do them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, back in a few minutes when it's nighttime and I can fight the flying Dutch rat. All right, I think we're ready now. So let's do the thing, shall we? And he just flew away. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Hey, come back. Wow, he hurts a lot. Holy cow. That is a lot of pain right there. You know, I mean, I will grant. I am not even a little bit, like, well-equipped. I mean, like, I'm wearing diamond armor. But it's not, like, well-enchanted or nothing, right? So, I mean, you know, that's fair. But he hurts a lot. Like, I am wearing my armor, right? I didn't accidentally take it off at some point. I mean, he's throwing, he's throwing ghostly fishes at me. <laughs> and laughing about it. I mean, to be fair, if I, if I had the ability to throw ghost fish, I would laugh too. I would think it was hilarious. Like, here, take this exploding ghost fish. But he hurts. Luckily, he's not like the wither, apparently, and you can absolutely kill him entirely with bows and arrows. Also, luckily, he doesn't seem to know how to get <laughs> Come on now. I kind of want to finish him off with my looting sword if I can. I'm just debating how bad of an idea that is. I'll run in there. Oh, never mind. Thought he had one more hit. Doesn't matter. Still got a flying Dutch rat's ship wheel, which is part of some big upgrades. Ooh, the boots of Atlantis. Nice. That's cool. I'm guessing this ingot is makes for a lot of things. Helmet of Ratlantis. Shovel of Ratlantis. Nice. Uh, so how do we get this stuff? That's an exceedingly good question. We have to find or Orat Calamore, apparently. Is there any ore doubling in there? Not as much. Oh, or we can archaeologist rock a block of diamond into one. I'm guessing this is just ore that's found in this dimension. We can go mining for it and look. All right, so we did we did that fight. Sans Mecha OP armor. It actually hurt a little bit. So flight definitely recommended. Flight definitely recommended. If you're gonna take that on. All right, let's go see if there's anything else World Jenny to find at the moment. Uh, let's see what we've got to see. I'm gonna fly around for a minute or two here and then we'll check back in with you guys. What's this? Is this something? Looks like something. I have no idea what this is. Marble cheese dirt. So that's something. It looks like a runway of some kind, doesn't it? Marbled cheese dirt. Okay. Okay. Does that look like a? It looks like a runway. That that was that was that's that's a flying that's a flying fish. Where's that coming from? Yeah, there's another uh, pirate ship here. I'm going to hold off, though. We've fought him twice now. Let's see what else we got in this dimension. Oh, yeah. These, these pirate ships are not common, but they're not uncommon. Now, is this just a regular pirate ship? It looks like it, right? Yeah. Soulbound, Curse of Vanishing, and Curse of Binding. Nothing particularly exciting there. All right, let's uh, come back in a minute after I fly around for a few minutes and see if there's anything else of interest World Jenny to find. And then we're gonna look for that Ore Calamore stuff. All right, I'm not seeing any new World Gen structures that I haven't already found. So let's pop home. So that I can sleep through this rainy night that we have on us. And what I'm going to do is put away this. Let's go mining underground and see if that Aura Calamor stuff. With all the rat puns. 
that is what I'm looking for. So let's go... Let's just dig straight down from over here-ish. Ooh, melons. Ye old digging straight down. Cheese ore! I mean, that's cool. So cheese ore is a thing. We just discovered that. I'm just going to go down to diamond level. Because, like, that's always a good place to start. If you're like, hey, I don't know what's up. So there's some extra cave sediment stone here. Standard world jenny ores, it looks like, for the most part. Which is not bad, not bad. Is that? Yeah, it's just regular gold. We're still hearing that weird noise, and I don't know what it is. The snarling I know is a feral rat lambkin. And there he is. I might turn him down because he's a little bit loud. I want to know when he's around. Rats. Plague rat rats? <laughs> Dutch rat. Hmm. Yeah, that might be just Ratlantian spirit then. I can see that being what's up. More cheese ore. Lead from thermal. Cheese. Nickel. Sulfur. Looking around for anything that's gonna look familiar to me. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of this real quick, and it shouldn't be too bad. So let's do... And we could always throw a miner in here, to be fair, right? I'm gonna put away you guys. I don't need the configurator. Ow. Can I put away my arrow? Definitely need to find something to deal with fire damage. I might have thrown away my arrow by mistake. Not the end of the world, but still. All right, I'm just going to mine down here for a minute, and we'll see if we can't find any of this or Calamore, and have an idea of where it comes from, like what Y level, etc. Be right back. Found some or Calamore. I also found some gems of Ratlantis. I was just mining here. I don't know precisely where they came from but they came from somewhere gems of ratlantis just popped into my inventory it might be that if we look here craft the gem of ratlantis from rat glove petals and emeralds i definitely didn't do that but we did find orac calamore so there is some down here so that's good that means whatever world gem there's supposed to be is working. Ratlantium gem ore. That must be... That must be what's up. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. So that stuff is world genable too. That's awesome. Ratlantium gem ore and ore calamore. So if we wanted to, we could easily digital miner this thing. Which again, digital miner is nice for like when you want to one-off something. You could totally use digital miner to do all your mining too, of course, but... You know, I'm trying to resist doing too much of that. So, like, if we wanted Ratlantium Rat Ore and Ore Callum, that would be cool, right? Oh, Rat Calcum Ore. Sure, why not? Digital Miner. Flux point and ender chest. Right? And we 
could probably just pop that bad boy, you know, wherever. Cool. A little bit of power. A little bit of... I'm not actually going to clear out the back of that thing. What I'm going to do is config. I'm going to leave uranium there because we could always use more uranium. And uh, add... Let's see. Rats or rat calcamore with an underscore. And if it's right, it should see O oh, rat calcum underscore or shouldn't that work? Let's give you some of that. That should work, I would think. You know what I could just do? Because I have it, I'll item stack it. I might have typoed something. So there's also Ratlantium Gem Ore. Oh, that's why. Because it's it's Forge. What do we got here? Oh, he doesn't have a tag. That's why. That's why. That's why. Neither one of these have tags. So this one does. This one does have Forge colon ore slash O Rat Calcum, right? This does not have a specific tab. So it's rats, ratlantium, gem ore. So I think my best bet would be to get a silk touch tool. And yeah. Huh, huh, huh. Can I do mod ID? I don't know if that's a good idea. Because that's gonna that's gonna mine up everything from the rats mod. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that'll mine up like this stuff and everything. Let's just cook that guy off. Nice. Or what to I'm curious how rare this is. It it looks pretty rare considering the amount to mine has not gone up much. I feel like we're not gonna see a lot of this stuff. But maybe a few. Alright, so that should give you an idea of the rareness of or calcamore. Which I'm mispronouncing, I'm sure, and everybody's gonna yell at me. Uh, and you can or double it. So that's another thing to note. So yeah, that stuff's rare. That stuff's very rare. Um, but it's good to know that it's rare. What I'll probably do is grab some silk touchiness and maybe go find some more of that Rantlantium gem ore so that I can add that to the filter and get more of it. That might be cool. But I think for now, probably wrapping up point for the episode. So let's wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. And what I'll do is... Get ready to fight some Ratlantian bosses, because I think some of the items we picked up in Ratlantis today will work towards making bosses kind of like the Wither, like you build a structure in World and it'll spawn a, spawn a boss that will drop more loots, and we'll go from there. Cool? So for now, Delatoy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.